Hey guys and welcome to Where's the Scale. So it's kind of funny that I recorded a video 12 days ago about Harpa.ai and now it seems like everyone is recording videos about Harpa. Oh well, it's uh, the, the name of the game, so to speak. But everybody keeps talking about the same old stuff. And what I wanted to do in this video is to show you some of the Harper AI prompts and use cases nobody talks about. And also I will give my own spin to some of the use cases that I found incredibly useful. So stay tuned. Uh, this is going to be a value packed video for you. So the first prompt is content analyzer. And what it does, it evaluates and audits an article text content in order to understand if it answers the user search intent. So search intent is extremely valuable when it comes to creating helpful content and you want to address that as early as possible and with the least amount of words as possible. So let's see how it works. Um, let's choose a keyword, which in our case is going to be Bitcoin halving effect on altcoins. And let's just imagine this is our article and let's just run this prompt. So the uh, instruction is to copy and paste your article and we can leave empty to parse from the web page. So we'll do that. User search query, search intent or keywords. So we need to paste in the keywords and the keyword was Bitcoin having effect on altcoins. And this prompt actually scores how well we are addressing search intent. So this is six out of 10. And so the AI says the content provided does not directly address the specific query. However, it does provide an in-depth explanation of what Bitcoin halving is, how it works and what it signifies. The content appears to be well researched and thorough with citations and list of related terms to further improve authoritativeness around the topic, consider featuring insights or interviews from industry experts, analysts or researchers who specialize in cryptocurrency and blockchain. And let's uh, double check this. So this was our keyword. And as you can see, the AI was right. So this article is not about the Bitcoin having effect on altcoins. And it mentions uh, the effect in one of the sentences. So this sentence is about the Bitcoin having event that occurs when reward for mining Bitcoin transaction is cut in half. And then it just mentions briefly that having reduces the rate at which new coins are created and thus lower lowers the available amount of new supply. So if you wanted to track, if you wanted to tackle this keyword, be my guest. And as we can see, Quora is on the second page. And I think this prompt is extremely valuable. So you can uh, address the search intent better and basically improve the overall readability of your article. The second prompt that I wanted to show you is again along the lines of helpful content and EEAT. So this prompt is called SEO audit. So what this prompt does, it analyzes the content of the page for EEAT, which is experience, expertise, authoritativeness and trustworthiness. So what it says is that the author does not provide any information about their expertise, qualifications or related experience in the field of pet care, nutrition or veterinary medicine. This is important. It also says that uh, this article could be potentially YMYL. It doesn't like the structure and formatting. It says that the article has subheadings, but they're not properly formatted. And it suggests what's, what to improve. As far as search intent and user expectations, readers searching for information about dog seed and long end would expect clear, concise and expert backed advice to better match search intent. The author should stay focused on the main topic and reduce unrelated stories. So <laughs> uh, this used to be my site, uh, one of the first sites that I um, published. And the intro is talking about the style of the domain, <laughs> and the AI tells me that this is rubbish. That it has this has nothing to do with EAT. It doesn't help the cause. And then it says that there is some information that is missing. It uh, tells me about it notices the overall use of affiliate links, and basically gives me six bullet points that I can act upon, which is update the author's bio. Cite authoritative sources, improves formatting, improve formatting, 
stay focused on the main topic, include detailed information on health benefits, ensure balance between promotional content and informative content. So this is very good, and this is very... Whenever you're doing SEO audits, and if you feel that, that you lack EEAT in your articles, this is an amazing prompt to take a look at your material and improve it accordingly. Now the third use case and prompt that I want to show you is this silo website structure. So everybody keeps talking about silos and clustering and how keyword difficulty is not that important since you want to create topical authority regardless of the keyword difficulty. And one of the challenges is uh, coming up with the clusters and silos. So this prompt helps you come up with these silos and clusters based on the list of the keywords that you have. So let's run it. And it wants me to enter the keywords in a comma separated fashion. And there is a website called Capitalize My Title, which has this comma separated tool. So I'll be pasting over a hundred keywords about being underpaid. And so this, this is what I'm getting in return, which is a comma separated list. So I'm going back to Harpa. And there is a limit on the amount of words that you can use. I believe this is around 100 words. I'm pasting them in. And based on the keywords, the AI gives me a very structured look at what I can talk about when building authority in the underpaid niche, which is understanding unemployment and underpayments, signs of being underpaid, raises and salary increases, and this is extremely detailed. So you can see there are like bigger silos and smaller silos. And it's giving me both letters and numbers. So this is extremely detailed. So the three large silos are understanding underpayment, raises and salary increases, workspace dynamics. And what I can do next is to ask Harpa or ChatGPT to take my list of the keywords and assign all these categories to my keywords. So I can merge the two, the list of the keywords and the silos that Harpa AI is producing. So this is extremely detailed and very, very, very useful. The next two prompts are going to be about images. And this is a very underserved, undervalued part of SEO. So there are basically two types of images. There are hero images or your featured images, and there are in-article images. So the first prompt deals with the featured image or the hero image. And basically it says create ideas of a hero image banner for your web page. And again, we'll use the same web page, which is Candox Elongan. We'll press enter. And it's going to come up with three ideas, I believe, about possible featured images. So the first one is a happy dog with a piece of longer in its mouth. And description is the hero image could show a playful and happy dog enjoying a piece of longer without the seat. The dog could be lying down and blah, blah, blah. And it even suggests some old text. And we'll stop it right here. So the first one is the dog lying down without the seat enjoying the hero image. Okay, so let's try this one. And for this, I'll go to Bing, which has the image creator. And for those of you who don't know, Bing have just experienced a massive, massive update. It has been rolled out to all the users yet, and I'll be recording a video. But it has a lot of things to offer now. And I will be modifying the prompt slightly. So instead of saying the hero image could show, I'll just say show a playful and, uh, and a happy dog enjoying a piece of long run without the seat. So basically, I just uh, reduced the amount of words and I didn't do much uh, editing at all. So let's push create. And this is powered by Dolly. And I'll show you some of the images that I was able to generate. And this is pretty good. And I like Image Creator a lot. Dolly is not the most robust or the best image creator, but it's pretty good. <laughs> So this is this is actually very good. Very, very good. So this one is perfect. And I like this one the best, I think. It's very high quality. And this one as well, amazing. So look at that. Like I would have just put this image straight on 
in my article without even thinking and you can download it obviously and you can use it so perfect and i was able to generate pictures like this like this so quite quite amazing and again the prompt was very simple like people write those um, these ridiculously long prompts and the prompt was a cat wearing a hat and this prompt was a domation dog stella happily nimbling on a pewed long and without seats so nothing nothing too fancy so as far as images go the second prompt that many people have especially people who write a content is that they do not use images uh, often enough and looks like like a big chunk of text poorly formatted and it's very difficult to read so there is a prompt called SEO, SEO brief if I'm not mistaken yeah it's called image briefs for SEO blog articles so it basically says find places in an article of or web page to put images returns what pictures should be so again we can either paste in the article content or we can just press enter to parse the page and it will read the content of the page and suggest images and where to strategically put them so it says uh, we could have a hero image which is a happy dog surrounded by different types of peeled and unpeeled fruits with long ends it then suggests image one and it should go after the can dogs eat long end heading so basically it suggests images and suggests the subheadings to put them after or before a dog curiously sniffing at a peeled long end fruit this should turn out much better and this is a much simpler prompt for the ai yeah and the result is amazing again look at the quality and I'm not the AI art person, so I'm not very skilled at generating AI images, but this is just amazing. This is very, very high quality. And again, the prompt was very easy. Maybe that's the reason why it worked. So another prompt that I, that I like is the sequential text improvements. And you can, hopefully you get the whole vibe of this video, which is geared towards creating helpful content and passing EAT detection of Google and basically uh, restructuring or auditing your content because we're all pretty good at writing content especially when it comes to AI but to make the content pop and basically adhere to the high standards of Google is another story altogether so this prompt creates a table with a list of 10 improvements for you to pick from and we can copy and paste text here or I can just say page text and press enter and this is an amazing prompt and I'll let the AI finish and then we'll go over the suggestions so it gave me 10 improvements to make and then I can play around with this even more I can change the text paste it back and it will tell me if I have made an improvement or not but let's just uh, take a look so the first uh, one is uh, to replace candox have long ends with candox consume long ends the second one is add a relevant image to the health benefits of long end third one is replace long end is not bad for dogs with long end is generally not harmful for dogs another suggestion is to merge the two sections which is how to feed long ends and how many long ends should a dog eat uh, which is logical then it wants me to add subheaders to the list of questions at the beginning it wants me to add a relevant image to the alternatives fruits for dogs it wants me to improve grammar and punctuation it wants me to rewrite an introduction it wants me to add internal links and uh, then it wants me to make subtitles consistent so prompt number six is about the quizzes and quiz writer and I have a video on my channel about GPT-4 and how you can use it to write quizzes to make your pages more helpful and uh, improve engagement and lower the bounce rate so this quiz writer works by you can feed the information so you can basically enter the subject of, of the quiz or you can use your page text which I'll do Again, it's going to read the page and it's going to suggest a quiz, which it called a pop quiz. <laughs> Maybe it should have said pop, but which of the fallen fruits is long and most closely related to? And it gives incorrect answers as well. And this is quite good. 
And I'm actually wondering if you can take this as is and feed it back to ChatGPT, for example, or use it even inside of the harpa.ai. Okay, so it seems like the quiz is ready. And basically you can take this and go to GPT-4 and ChatGPT, or you can continue within the harpa.ai and ask the AI to generate an HTML with inline CSS and Java quiz based on the above structure and script. So the last use case, the seventh one, is the outrank feature. And this is quite laughable. Outrank SEO article, let's just say this is the article I want to outrank. And it basically will write a, a whole article on the pretense of uh, beating the competitor as far as content quality goes. And you will get anything from 500 to 700 words. So I'll stop it right here. So you have to take my word for it. So the quality is not the greatest and the word count is very low. So a much better way, in my opinion, to use the outranking prompts without, the using, without using the prompt itself is to head over to your SERPs. So say you're still using the canned oxide longan as example. Now you want to target uh, a few of the competitors with low DA but high ranking. So this one is good. So is this one. And definitely, definitely this one here. So these are all ranking on the first page. They have low authority. One of the subscribers asked me why I'm looking at the domain rating. And the reason being is that the low, dom low domain rating websites that are ranking on the first page are doing that based on content. And you can double check that with uh, the Moz bar extension or the Keywords Everywhere extension that uh, show you not only the domain rating, but the amount of links that go into that article. So what we can do is go to the first article in question, like so, and we'll just go extract the outline from, and we'll say page. Okay, we'll now use another article as our donor, and we'll tell AI to do the same, extract the outline from, and we'll just say page text. Okay, Harper is done with the second article, third article. Extract the outline from... Okay, so now we have extracted three outlines from the uh, pages with the most potential. So now what we can do is, based on the above three outlines, create or suggest suggest a comprehensive outline about can dogs eat longer. And now what it's doing, it's taking the information from all the three pages, outlines, and creating a massive a master outline that has best parts of each of the outlines so in theory this should be the most comprehensive outline from of them all and just by looking at it uh, this is probably true this is very detailed and now you can paste it uh, into ChatGPT or playground you do that for each of the subsections of the outline and this way you get a two, three, four, five thousand word article depending on the complexity of the topic. So that was it. You've just learned seven unique ways to use harper.ai, seven prompts that nobody else talks about. Hope you found this video helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.